So what is a GPS watch? A GPS watch allows you to be able to track your mileage, your pace, your distance, as well as the calories that you burn and be able to track your runs, each of them. Each GPS watch is different, but the GPS watch do allow you to track that run in real time. And we will give you the pros and cons of wearing a GPS watch. And on this channel, we give you tips and tricks of how to be a successful runner and provide fitness workout videos for a healthy lifestyle. So make sure you do subscribe to be a part of this channel because we do provide two new videos every week. If you're going out for one or two miles, so a shorter distance, then having a GPS watch actually might be more distracting than helpful. Because while you're out on that run, you might just be keep looking down and just checking your pace, your time, rather than focusing on that run itself. Also, if you were to be running with a GPS watch in a race, you might not be more focused into that race and the race atmosphere. Instead, you'd be trying to stay focusing on what exactly is your pace and make sure that you are running it. So that means that if you are a nine pacer and you are running an eight pace, you might slow down because you want to prevent burnout instead of just focusing on how your body feel and can you maintain that pace and is it comfortable for you, you'd be focusing on that numbers instead. And another thing that is, if you are going out for a run and you run it slower than your pace, then you might become more disappointed in yourself <laughs> or that run. In addition, if you are going out for a run and it's the end of the week, and you run it on, say, a 39.3 mileage, you might try to squeeze in additional 0.7 miles just to round up and have an even number at the end of that week. So that means that you're running more than you would have. So another thing to consider is with your GPS watch is that you actually have to turn on the watch to have it to start so therefore, if you don't have the right satellite or signal to be able to get it to go to that zero, zero, zero or to be able to start it for that run, it might cause you to have a longer wait time before you go out, which means that you might be waiting for a minute, 10 minutes before that watch come on. So therefore you could go out and run or you might just go ahead and run it, but you're not as focused into that run until you do have data to start really calculating your run and pace. So a kind of use of the GPS watch is that you have to chart your GPS watch. So if you forget to charge that watch and you try to go out on your run, it just won't go black on you. So therefore you have to make sure you charge it and make sure it's charged before each run. But benefit is that if you do charge it, it can last hours to days. A GPS watch could be pricey, so it could set you back a little bit of about $300 to even $500. So a way to combat that price is that you could buy an older model of that watch and get it for a cheaper deal. Now runners can become dependent on that GPS watch. So therefore, you will see them that once that watch, like I said earlier, like how it go black on you if you get to charge it well some runs will just go home and not even do that run that day and then there are some runs that they become so dependent on their watch that therefore they have to check every little detail so a pro of using the gps watch now some watches allow you to download music from either the apple watch store or even spotify Another benefit for GPS watch is that it can be better than a smart watch because a smart watch has a touch screen. But while you're out on your run, the GPS watch has the button functions, so therefore you can just hit the button and keep going. GPS watch can be used for multiple sports. So you could not only use it for running, you could use it for cycling, for swimming, for even cross-country skiing. And GPS watch, it could be a little bit better than your 
smartphone because your smartphone, you have to carry it while you're running or even put it in an armband and while you're out for your run, you have to stop and take out the armband and track your different data. But for a GPS watch, you can just look at it while you're out on your run and be able to check your data at the same time. So a pro to having a GPS watch is having data is actually great. So if you are going out and trying to check your pace, like if you are doing a farlet workout, that would be beneficial for that GPS watch. Or if you are trying to track your stride or cadence, GPS watch would be helpful. Also, it, it could track your sleep pattern. So it would be able to see when you are in an easy sleep, a deep sleep, and even realm sleep. So you'd be able to track those different stages of your sleep cycle. Another great benefit is that you are able to track your heart rate. So therefore, by being able to track your heart rate, you'll be able to see where your fitness level is at. And you also be able to track different heart zones that you are in to make sure your easy workout is really easy and your heart workout is indeed hard. So therefore, you are not overtraining. And since a GPS watch is lightweight and small, it would not be as distracting as it's on your arm. And since GPS makes watches for runners, that means that you can run in almost all conditions, such if it's raining outside, if it's hot conditions, and even it will be able to handle your sweat if you are a heavy sweater. And if you are a long distance runner, say for instance, if you are running a half marathon or a marathon, having a GPS watch for training, it's actually very helpful. So having a GPS watch for your workouts or runs is not either good or bad. It's up to you to whether you want to use a GPS watch for your training. But definitely comment below and let us know what you think, how having a GPS watch is beneficial or not beneficial for you. And make sure you like the video. And until we see you next time, bye-bye.